We we sacrificed eight power. We sacrificed the eight six to save a three three, and pretty much to save a seven five. If you look at that, is too many. Do I keep eye on this matchup? Yeah, we keep out. Fucks with uh, his uh, bot. Yeah, so that was like a minor misplay. Um, Cause we pretty much decided on that play at the rope. When the rope got down to like right here, we decided this is what we're doing, guys. Um, so yeah. Buying or selling. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying my Discover game is strong. That's, that's all I'm saying. I'm just saying. If you didn't know before you came to the stream, this is all I pull. Now I pull whatever I might need. This has some merit as well for trading. But I wouldn't be able to play until turn three. And that means turn three, I'll be tapping and taking five damage. I, I mean, and taking three damage. So I'll be taking five damage on turn three. That seems really strange. Yeah. But still, we, we did get punished, so it is, uh, what's my call it? I thought it would be Freeze Mage. I had a feeling it would be Freeze Mage, if that makes sense. I don't know why I had a feeling it would be Freeze Mage. It was just something like, yeah, probably would be fucking Freeze Mage. D. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we don't play low theft, so we gotta sit here and chill a while. But yeah, that minor misplay, because if you look at it as in if Hillbot and BGH were one minute, it's a 7 5. And we pretty much kept a 7 5 and gave up an 8 6, and that just doesn't make sense. So, yeah. Because he still dealt with six power, but he dealt with six power spread over three minions. He only lost two minions to do it. So we left eight six, the eight six up. Got rid of BGH, he would have dealt with eight power with three minions, and we still would have had the two one hour. So, yeah. Those are those like crucial turns that you have to do I a thousand now to know what to do. That fucking Tundra Rhino in his deck. That was insanity. In fucking sanity. That card was in his deck. That's crazy. He like legitimately played that card. I hovered over it and it said, I'm from in his deck. <laughs> I was not discovered. I was not unstable portal. I was not web centered. I'm in his deck. I'm one of the lucky 30 cards in his deck. Deal with it. I'll show them. I'll show them all. Quite interesting in my opinion. We can never play this. Well, we can play this card when he plays something. We can power overwhelm and get and do some things, but normally no. That's pretty good. Delay traps a little bit. I mean, I guess it's like one of the things like, do we use Owl for Trap or do we use Owl for Doomsday? We can use one mad scientist and one doomsday. So it's kind of like, you know, pick pick your poison type thing. It, it's, to me, it boils down to a, to a preference. We have a lot of heal in here, so that might help us um, after he Alex's it. Playing Savannah just doesn't seem right. It doesn't die a shadow flame, but it does die a. I don't think he would. I mean, he might fireball it, play Doomsday and fireball it to steal it to guarantee to clear our board on our turn. Um, but that seems bad. We we'll still get to, to develop. Um, so yeah, I'm fine with that if he chooses that line. I have no time for games. Done. Almost out of time. 
My other option was to uh, tap and play Defender of Argus here. I think this takes out like an instant response. And if he brought the fireball on this, that's actually a good thing. So far from the Doom Chair. Let the pain speak oh wow, no Doom Chair. I don't want to play implosion because I don't want to fill up my board. Filling up my board is bad. Bad, bad, bad. And we're probably going to chill out on the tapping. Turn a bit. Hmm. Pink? Nah, he's not an idiot. You can always tell the idiot. He doesn't seem like an idiot. But you never know. Nah, he's not an idiot. Sorry, guys. No idiots today. That's a dead card. I might just boom. I don't like it because it goes on my board, but I don't want to tap anymore. I don't want to play Refresh. I and I'm really, eh, I don't want to play my Hill, but I don't want to do any Hill until after Alex. But I don't have BGH, so that's merit to tap. But if he Alexes me, I can get rid of it. So, yeah. Let's do this. Very tough matchup. You would think it would be easier because of Reno, but you have to draw Reno. And you have to just time out, time out everything you do. Like, no when to stop tapping. We were hoping for a light well there. Light well would have been OP OP. But the good news is we're getting that for 8 damage. Ah, I was hoping 8 damage off the bus. That's really good. Let me think. Fireball, fireball, frostbolt is 15. Fireball, fire, fireball, frostbolt, frostbolt, 12. Ice lance and ice lance. Each one is 4. So that's 12. I 20? So if I tap, I die. Right? I think that's right. That sounds right. Yeah, Frostbolt does four. I mean, Ice Lance does four. So two Ice Lances is eight. That's two mana. Two Frostbolts is four mana. Oh yeah, I'm never gonna use this. But what's going on out there? Let me know what happens if, if you make it back. So yeah, this is yeah. That's right. Not not tapping below. Um. Thought upon numbers just in case shenanigans happen. We for vengeance. So I'm pretty sure he's playing that for draw purposes. Um Earth and Ring is OP OP. Definitely we get brand if we tap. Not brand. You are not brand. So it was a two, four, six, and fireballs, two. So we can just heal the 21 and chill. I'll probably use this though. I kind of like this over uh, Earth and Ring because I do have brand options. He played his second flame strike as well. Cakes. 
Get your funnel cakes here! Engaging TC-130. Mental locator. Strong mind play. It, this mother, he's never going to do anything. So, yeah. Still don't have BGH for Alex. That's going to be... Means we're going to have to burn a power over moment, which is not what we want to do. He doesn't have it, obviously. But he could have a Doomsayer Frost Nova. He hasn't set up a block yet either, which is good. Mind if I roll me? Probably going to change. Uh, so now it's Frost Nova or Blizzard. Frost up there. Can we kill him? No, oh, so there's the block. I think we can pop the block and kill him, though, right? Check damage. Two, six, nine, six on board. So we're two damage off from Lethal? So if we draw Brand, we kill him? Oh, wait, is Jaraxxus killing him? Well, if Jaraxxus pops his block, then he kills us, so that does, doesn't work. Close, close, close. My seal for Argon. We'll never have a way to deal with uh, Alex if he comes out. What was the barrier so we couldn't kill him anyway? Even with the uh, damage. Yeah. Yeah, because that would be 4, that would be 4, 11, 15, 18. And he is higher than 18. So that's our spot, because we pop both barriers. I think we can pop them this time. Seven. That's 10, 13. Yeah, so we can pop them and siphon this off. I did it kind of wrong. I should have buffed him in the 2 3. I could have popped him in 2. This is asshole backwards. Alright. So we're at 24, so he can't kill us because he hasn't got ET, so he doesn't have any free burns. And Boss Baby Peach? That's, that's a good name. Never been called that before. I bring life. That's pay you extra for that. Call me that. So we win. 4, 8, 11, Reno for Salt, and Jaraxxus for Game. Yeah, right? That's it. 4, 8, 11, 14, Jaraxxus. That's 8 mana. It wasn't that bad. We played it. I'm not going to say perfectly, but we played it extremely well. Um, we kept ourselves above 20 because. If he had the, the dream, he would do 20 damage and we would die. So we gave us over about 20 the entire time, and we made it back to the 4, and we're gonna lock this fucking amazing. I'm sorry for doubting you. It just sucks that we're.